If you wanted to know what underwear I wear, now you know. I hope to God no one's trying to stab me in the waist, but. All right, so we are headed to Dubrovnik tomorrow for a three and a half, four month vacation or trip to Europe. So I wanted to show y'all what we pack. We'll start off by showing you what we pack in. So this is my away carry-on and my personal items. And then just to give you an idea, if you're not team away, Yunji's got her monos. So let's get into this. I'll show you what goes in the carry-on and then I'll show you what goes in my personal item. Let's get into it. So last time I did one of these videos, which I haven't published yet, I had all my stuff lined out on the table. This time I'm gonna show you the reverse so to prove it all fits in here. So here is a look at what goes in here. And this is actually what we'll start with first. So this stuff actually won't be going in here tomorrow. I just put this, I don't really know why I put this in here, but this is what I'll be wearing tomorrow. If you wanna see a more in-depth video on like what I wear on travel days, there will be a video, I'll link the card up here and you can check out these individual items. Some of the other stuff, if we can look down here, uh, I've got two other pairs of shoes. So my second pair of shoes, and I don't know if other people use bags for this, but I certainly do. The, the other pair of shoes I'm definitely bringing, so Teva Zymex. I don't have a video on how I chose these, but I was in between getting the Teva XLT2s and then these just came out, these Zymex. They're chunkier, but the heel is like insane and I'm comfort over everything. And then the front is softer than the XLT2. So that's these. And then the other thing, I'm just bringing a pair of sneakers. These are not the most comfortable, but they're comfortable enough and they're nice enough in my opinion if we go somewhere nicer or if it's cold and I don't wanna wear shoes with holes in them. So these are Nike Tailwind somethings. Um, they're neutral, they're chill. And then the only other things on this side of the bag, if we want to look down here, I have a tote from a company I worked at. So this will be for groceries or beach or picnic days. I've got koozies that I talked about in another video. If you want to see the essential items, I don't leave home with that. Spoiler, but this is in that video. And then if we can come back, I've got a garbage bag for laundry. Last thing, I don't want to show that because then you won't watch the essential video. If you know what I might be alluding to, hit me in the comments if you watch the other video. All right, let's get into the zippered other side. So ASMR, that didn't work great. So first thing, I just talked about how I like, like wearing stretchy shirts or whatever, but come on, you're going to the beach, going on vacation, you need a little Hawaiian steez, it's necessary. It's the only colored shirt I'm bringing on this four month trip. The other three real shirts I'm bringing, I've got an Olivis shirt from Uniqlo. It's plus J, Joel Saunders. A white t-shirt from Cause. I'm saying these in case anyone cares. And a charcoal t-shirt from Uniqlo. Yeah. So I've got one Hawaiian shirt, three cotton t-shirts, and then I have four, four Airism shirts. So in every color and then I'll be wearing these. So I've got five of these. This is what I usually wear during the week when I'm like not filming, if I'm hanging out, if I'm going on a run, going on a walk. These are what I wear. These are what, it, as you, these are just what I wear. <laughs> my only kind of outerwear besides what's going in my personal item and wearing on me. So in addition to the thin hoodie, I've got this Everland cashmere sweater. This is just comfy. We go somewhere nicer if I need to layer. I, I just like having these soft and comfy. Turtleneck, I sleep in these. I might carry it if it's, I'm not gonna take it on the flight because I've got some other stuff we'll talk about, but this is what I sleep in. And if it's too hot, I'll use the other item I'm not, I'm not talking about. <laughs> two pairs of socks, so three total. So two pairs of like Nike dry fit, one no show. Uh, so Greg doesn't yell at me for style. Eight pairs of underwear, one I'll be wearing, seven I'll be packing. And just in case anyone cares. So these are like my favorite, they're like mesh. Calvin Klein underwear, black, gray, black. The second time I tried to buy them, they're like some synthetic material that's not mesh, black, gray, black. And I've got one cotton pair of underwear. You guessed it, black and gray. If you wanted to know what underwear I wear, now you know. Also, I'll be dropping links to all this stuff in description in case you wanna pick up any of this. Let me know if you have comments as well. Now that we did kind of the underwear and the socks, only other thing left are shorts. So I'm gonna wear one pair of pants. I'm not gonna pack any. And I have four pairs of shorts here. These are what I would call hybrid shorts. So these are all from 10,000. That's what the company is called. And these two are set shorts. So these are meant so you can train in these, you can hang out in these and you can swim in them. 
I like everything about these. They got the, the drawstrings you can't see. They've got a lot of like zipped stuff, just a lot of cool stuff. And then they've got liners. So these are what I wear if we're gonna go to the beach, if I'm on a run, if I'm just hanging out. These shorts do everything and I like them a lot. So I've got them in sand, which is this color, and I've got them in black. And then the other pair of shorts I have, so these are also by 10,000. These are called tactical shorts. So I guess these were made in conjunction with like military people. The, the big thing is these are supposed to like go through hell and back. So this is like slash proof or whatever on the waistband. I hope to God no one's trying to stab me in the waist, but in case they do, this will survive. I probably will die. And then these can get wet. They're a little shorter than the other ones. And then they also have liners. The thing I like maybe more about these, if we're going to take a bus ride, they have double zip pockets. So nothing opens. So when we, when I was, when people tried to rob me last year in Mexico, they were unsuccessful and they could only get stuff from Uni because all my stuff zipped and I don't carry anything. So don't rob me. Real shorts. So these are like the shorts you don't swim in. If I'm hanging out, going to dinner, going somewhere a little nicer, this is what I've got. Um, and if I can't wear these or those other pants aren't nice enough, then uh, we chose the wrong restaurant. So that's kind of everything in here. Let me know in the comments if you think it's too much, not enough, what I'm missing, what I have too much of. But this is what's going in the carry-on. And then I will show you what goes in my personal item, which is that backpack you saw. I actually fit quite a bit in there, so let's get into that. We just finished packing the carry-on. We talked about what I'm gonna be wearing the day of. Now let's fill this bad boy up. So we just showed you a bunch of stuff. Starting with this, so this is something I always like to have on me. This is a packable jacket, so it packs into this, it's down. So if I'm not warm enough in my kind of like pullover or thin hoodie, this is always nice. It also doubles as a cushion for my electronics in my bag. That is the first thing. This is my razor. This is how I cut my hair and the hairs on my face. So this is how I save money on not going to a barber, the more you know. This is my favorite kind of water bottle, whether I'm traveling or at home. Like this is what I use, the Camelback Eddy. I like having a straw and not twisting things. I like glasses sometimes, but I don't like stuff gets in. The problem with these though, is they can spill when they're laying down. So that's why I have this little clip on. This is vapor and this is the same volume, 700 mils, and it can roll up into itself. So it takes up like no room. It weighs nothing. It can just clip on here. So this is what I'm going to use like when I'm in the airport or before I uh, board the plane, I'm gonna fill this up so I have a non-spillable way because the cap is very good. Electronic quick rundown, my MacBook Air. Should I probably have a MacBook Pro? Yes, this is what I edit on and look for flights and stuff, but you gotta have a laptop. In addition to that, we've got AirPods for listening to stuff, whether I'm like walking, running, audiobooks. I actually don't listen to much music because I'm a weirdo. In addition to that, I have my Kindle. They never use. I haven't been using this much because this much. I haven't been using. I haven't been using this much. I haven't been using <laughs> this very frequently because I'm listening to audiobooks. That took me four takes to say that. But these will go in. And then literally, Kindle. The one thing no one needs, but is nice to have. That's an iPad. What did I just call this? <laughs> you said Kindle. This is the new Kindle that I have iPad, no one needs one, but when your phone is charging and you just want to hang out on the couch, I love this. Also watching sports, yeah, mostly watch sports on this, Formula One, NBA, football, love it. So I've got kind of like a hat for like running or walking or doing anything kind of strenuous. I expect to wear this a lot. It's like laser perforated to keep my head cool. Nice, cool black color. Maybe I shouldn't have got black. Because we're gone for so long, I wanted to have one other hat option. So when we're like more low key or like if we're just gonna go out to a cafe or go out for a meal and come back or something like chill, I got this bucket hat. What's really cool about this, you just left, is it's reversible. So I'm getting three hats for the weight of two. Hat number three. Sunglasses, so if you've watched my videos, you've seen that I don't have these. So I finally have them, these are polarized. These are from Gooder or Goodar. I think Gooder, it's like better, but Gooder. I really like these. I love tortoise shell as a pattern and these are matte and polarized. So very happy with these, less squinting. So we've got a little handkerchief slash silk-ish scarf. And this is if I just get too cold and I don't have like my turtleneck that you saw, 
can like tie this up. Also, if I'm somewhere hot and I've got the fan on and it's too hot for a turtleneck, I can wear this. So that's what I was doing in Mexico and Guadalajara was like 90 degrees. Maybe not that hot at night, but like we'd be running the fan and got to protect the throat. Don't worry now. Deodorant. So a lot of people don't know. I quit wearing deodorant during the pandemic. That hasn't been working out too, too well. So finally going to take this. Grandma, this is from you. Triple odor defense. We'll see if it can keep up with me. Random stuff. I used to think, oh yeah, like I'll film and I can edit so fast. I don't need extra storage. No, I've been doing this like dance where like I run out of storage. So finally taking the two terabyte external. I'll probably upgrade to like the orange one that's shockproof. This is uh, not solid state, no one cares. And then I need a dongle because I have a MacBook Air with two whatever lightning bolt ports, thunderbolt. And then rounding things out, um, we've got two of these adapters and then Yunju's got a bigger one that kind of is three in one that you can plug into and has two USB. So we've got two more. This should be more than enough. I got a nice sleep mask because it's been, the sun has been rising so early here, like at, you know, 10 till six or something that I don't want to be in a position where we're in like Europe, that's a higher latitude and that there's not blackout curtains. So problem solved. I'll have this on the plane in case I want to sleep on the buses, but this is mostly for the Airbnb. So I don't wake up at four or five in the morning. All right, so there you have it. There's my personal item. It's not too full. It is heavier than I want, so I'll have to figure that out. I don't know what's causing so much weight besides the electronics. You can see the two little clip-on things there, but I hope this has helped in some way. If you have any questions or if there's something you think I forgot that I would benefit from packing, please let me know. If I packed something you thought was interesting that you're gonna add your next trip, please let me know also. Thanks so much for hanging out. We'll see you Saturday with another vlog and then we'll see you next Wednesday with another video vlog.